our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Corey Sanhagen. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Jose Alba Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. What a moment for Jose Aldo Jr. here tonight. We'll see if he can come through with yet another seminal moment for his fans around the world. Jose Aldo Jr., center of the octagon here. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Straight punch. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Strike first. Here we go. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this round. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Now lands a solid punch there. Big shot lands for both guys. Just over three minutes to go round one. Body work for Sanhagen. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking move. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Sandhagen's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, beautiful jab there by Aldo. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Sandy. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice kick there by Alda. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Oh! That was lightning fast, that right in. Just touching him with the jab. Round one winding down here. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? All Good. right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Swing and a miss by Sandhagen. Ooh, big shot lands. 
Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move slow, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Aldo. Sanhagen's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Come on, let's work. Oh! Three minutes to go in round two. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing him, but now he's got to settle him if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, good defense, yes. Hard elbow, hard oh. elbow. This is where he wants to be. Aldo's in half guard. <laughs> Big ground and pound. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sandhagen. And another one. Right another strike from the top. Lands for him. Might get the TKO oh, here. Oh. Ten minutes in the can. All right, brother. Take a deep breath for me. Into that nose, out through that mouth, all right? Tudo bem. Olha, escuta. You can't stand there and let him tear your body apart. You ready to fight? Ready. So here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Right. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, big left hook there. You gotta hit his cut. Let's go. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Effective jab there by Aldo. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Sandhagen's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that has already compromised on his opponent. Three minutes to go in round three. Stuff to take down, no problem. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Oh, man. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Good punch. 
two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. All right, so... Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Big head kick. Oh, that's big. Oh, went for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Aldo's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feel... Oh! Oh, no! Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Spinning back this is there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Aldo going for the leg kick. He does not connect. That is how you finish a fight. Both athletes emptying the tanks down the stretch as we go the distance here in this arena tonight. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Corey Sanhagen! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did...